Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle and today I have a really quick craft project with only three supplies. I want to show you it involves tea towels from the Target Dollar Spot. You can get two tea towels for three dollars. It involves my favorite peel and stick fabric tape, double-sided fabric tape. And the last thing is just the fiber fill because you can probably guess by now what I'm gonna make is pillows, no sew pillows. So hang tight and let me show you how to do this. Okay, once you have your tea towels out and flat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay them flat face up and you're gonna line three sides of your tea towel with double-sided tape. So normally I'm just gonna start with the shortest one. Don't go all the way to the edge. Um, I'm putting the double-sided tape on the seam. It's right at the edge, but it's not all the way to the edge. Kind of like that. See, there's the seam. And press down real good. And do the long side. With the fabric tape, the key is pressure. Make sure you apply pressure when you're adding this stuff. And there's that side. One more side, and by the way, the double-sided tape, obviously when you pull it off the roll, it's gonna be the sticky side. Um, and then the other side has a protective backing on it. So just keep that protective backing on it until right before we're gonna put the quote unquote pillow together. some pressure. Now, now we're going to go ahead and peel the, the backing off. And sometimes this can be a little tricky. Okay, now that I've pulled um, the other layer of um, the protective backing off, you got to be real careful with this part you line them up on each side. It can be kind of tricky because you got the sticky stuff out, but just be careful. I don't really have a trick as to how to do this. Just take your time. See, you can always realign. It's not going to be perfect, but you want to get it as close to the edges as possible. This sticky stuff is hard to work with sometimes. Just like that. it a little bit. Okay. okay. Now comes the fun part. Once you line them up real good, apply more pressure. And now take the open end Flip it inside out. Make sure you get the corners real good. See the seam? Oh, the makeshift seam. Make sure you get the corner real 
good. Sometimes you gotta work it a little bit. So now, now comes the fun part. You take your backing, open this up, and just stuff it, stuff it with backing. Okay, so in my typical DIY fashion, after looking at this, before I stuff it, I've decided I probably have enough length here to make two separate pillows. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So lay it flat. I'm just gonna cut along this seam and I'm gonna create two separate pillows. is kind of the way I DIY. Um, a lot of people have a great plan and they go through with it. And my plans normally change halfway through the project. And that's okay, as long as the end, the end product is what you want. And most of the time it is. I can't say all the time, but most of the time. Okay, so now I have two separate pillow sacks. All right, so now that this is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff this, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna finish it. Okay, so once I've stuffed the little pillow with batting, okay, the next thing you do to make a clean edge to close it up, take your double-sided tape and run it over the outside of, of your pillow right at the edge too. See? Take it right at the edge. Okay, once you've done that, peel it back. Sometimes I think this is the hardest part of this double side of tape. It's finding, finding it to where it's not so sticky. Okay, peel both of them back. Now, here comes the tricky part. Turn it under, turn it under, and mash it together. And I don't have any tricks here. Just be slow and take your time. <laughs> 